Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and welcome to another fragrance review. Okay you guys, as you can see by the thumbnail, we are going to be reviewing Amouage Guidance. This fragrance was released last year and I honestly did not ever purchase it because of the price tag and I've been curious about it this whole time. So I decided to just go ahead and jump out there and get a sample of it. Actually, I've been trying to get a sample of this fragrance for quite some time now, and the samples were always sold out. So last week or a week before when I went online, um, I went on ScentSplit to actually look look for samples that I wanted. And when I saw Guidance was in stock, I hurry up and I added it to my cart. Because like I said, it has been out of stock for so long. At least when I would go look, I could never find it in stock. So I finally found it in stock, and I'm going to review it for you guys to day. Normally I give you guys these reviews and I let you know what the main accords are and I let you know what the notes are. Well today there are some of the notes that I'm like you know what if I read this or if I heard someone say this to me um, I would not know what these smelled like without looking them up and that's just me being honest because they aren't like notes that I hear often or notes that I pay attention to, notes that I remember. Some of them I have they have been in other fragrances that I um, have reviewed, but there's a couple that I was like, okay, let me look this up to see what this is giving. So when I looked those two notes up, I was like, well, if I feel like this, maybe other people feel like this. So the ones on um, the note listing that aren't like normal notes, I looked them up and I'm going to tell you guys, just in case y'all are curious, um, I'm gonna tell you guys what they what the scent profile is or what they make the what they do for the fragrance and what they smell like. I wrote them down. I have my little notepad here, so I will go over the notes for you guys just in case you're curious. I know I have a lot of new people here. I have um, beginners in fragrance. I have seasoned people in fragrance. I have so many different people in fragrance here, and I don't want to on my channel. I we I want to talk about fragrances, but I feel like. I get a lot of questions in person with people always asking me fragrance questions so and it made me think if people are asking me these questions in person maybe people on my channel are just as curious but they don't ask me so instead after my video or during my video maybe they go look these things up so they can know for themselves I was like so if you're gonna be on here giving the people the tea on the fragrances help them to also know what what you're talking about like some of them are given when they give us these notes that we all know but some of these notes when they name them in here i'm not sure if everybody knows what they are but i'm gonna fix that i'm gonna let you guys know i looked it up and this is according to google so we're just gonna jump right into the main accords it's enough talking guidance is a fragrance for women and men the main accords are woody amber fruity warm spicy sweet nutty powdery vanilla floral and balsamic guidance was launched in 2023 the top notes are pear hazelnut and alabanum middle notes are osmanthus rose saffron and jasmine sandbox base notes are sandalwood vanilla akigala wood ambergris and labdanum so one of the top notes like i said was alabanum alabanum is sweet woody balsamic with notes of citrus spice and resin one of the middle notes are osmanthus. Osmanthus is fruity, is a fruity floral scent that's a mix of apricot, peach, prune, plum with notes of leather and suede. And the other three are from the base wood. So Akigala wood is woody, peppery, is a woody peppery scent that's similar to patchouli. Ambergris is ambery, musky, warm, and oceanic with a tobacco leaf note. Labdanum is warm, earthy, and slightly sweet aroma with notes of amber, musk, woodiness, leather, and resin. Okay, that's for the teaching moment. <laughs> and so let me talk about myself with the fragrance. So I got the sample. You guys, when I do these sample videos, sometimes it, when I do these sample videos, when I have no clue what the fragrance smells like, I order these little dip samples like this. And to use it after I've sampled the video, I'll pour it in some lotion and then rub the scent on me that way. Like I said, guidance on wash. So when I first got the sample, I took it and I, you know, this has the little stick that you like the dabber. I took it out 
dabbed it on my hand. Now my immediate reaction to this was, I don't get what everybody else is getting um, with this. And then I went on about my business in the kitchen doing stuff. And as I'm in the kitchen, Keelan is like, something on you smells really good. And I flipped my hand around. I was like, is it this? She said, yes. What is that? I said, Keelan, it is so crazy that you said that because as I'm standing here, the fragrance came. When I tell you guys, it came to life in like five minutes. The initial dab with me putting this on my hand didn't do anything for me. But it's almost like that top layer went away. To me, it was really earthy on the top layer when I first put it on. So I didn't care for it when um, I first smelled it. That was almost immediately gone. And then I was like, this is beautiful. Like it is. <sighs> it's beautiful. I hate that it's a $300 price today. I hate it because now it's on my list. <laughs> but. This is if have you guys found a dude for for guidance? I don't know. Y'all let me know down in, down below though. But anyways, like I said, this is beautiful. It is very much a rich scent. Like I had, like I said, I only took this dabber, dabbed it on the back of my hands a few times. I ate my food, sat around, went and took a shower, got out. Mind y'all, I double cleanse with Dial antibacterial soap with Dove on top of it. I actually wash my hands before I bathe or do anything. All of that action and motion using my hand and the scent was still on my hand when I got out of the shower. You guys, I get the hype. Now, there were some people that I saw talk about guidance. They didn't like it and it didn't smell good. And like I always say, everything is not going to be for everybody. But for the ones that do love this, for the ones that are obsessed, for the ones that this is an, an instant, immediate love, I get it. This is a gorgeous fragrance. This is not one that you can play around with, though. This is not... <laughs> I would not say that this is an everyday fragrance. This is a fragrance for the girls. Like this is a fragrance that you want to impress somebody. This is a, I want to impress somebody that's really special in my life where I'm going out with my significant other for a night on the town and I look fabulous and I want to smell fabulous. Like this is one of the ones that I would not just spray on. First of all, the price tag, even it, like outside of the price tag, this is a special occasion fragrance to me. This isn't one that I love it. Would I love to wear it as an everyday scent? Yes, but it's like if I'm wearing this as an everyday scent that I won't have anything to look forward to when I do go out and do whatever I'm going to do. This is it, you guys. This fragrance is so rich in scent. This is a fruity floral fragrance. You definitely get the... Um, the citrus, you get the spice, you get warmth, you get woody, ambery. It is such a beautiful, it is the perfect mix of, um, of, of all of those different notes. It has a, a, a deepness to it, to me. I can tell that this is going to be a very, very, first of all, I, I, I tested it by mistake. I can tell that this is going to be a very long lasting fragrance. Um, so it's something that once you put it on, it's stuck. I, it didn't take much. It, I was using this dabber and it stuck to my skin even after taking a shower. Uh, it's just, you guys, it's beautiful. It's such a rich smelling scent. It gives me so much amber. It gives me just enough spice and just enough woody. And like I said, it also gives you like slightly leather because of the osmanthus, but it is definitely not like an overpowering leather. Leather, It is, it's just enough to give it that twist. It's like they put a little bit in there and measured it to the T to like make sure not to go overboard because a leather note in a fragrance is something that it, it, it gags me and, and it's something that definitely makes me hate a fragrance. It's going to either make it or break it, but it's perfection in here. 
this is marketed as a unisex fragrance um i can see why i guess because of the leather and suede smell but i don't to me it's it, to me it's feminine like it is a very deep feminine scent I just I don't see a man wearing this I don't see a man wanting to wear this like we've discussed this before on my channel that they market now a lot of fragrances to be unisex um, by just adding certain notes in there I get feel like as extras just in case it'll smell like a certain way on a man or just in case a man likes this because it has this leather note in it or because it's a woody scent or because it has the spice in it even having those notes in there it still it still makes me feel like it's a feminine scent it's not like ultra feminine or anything like that like super girly bright it's not like that because like I said it is a very deep fragrance um but I also don't see I don't see a man wearing this. I see me wearing this. I see me loving this. I see me being obsessed with this. I see this being a special occasion scent for me. Um, Blind by Worthy, even though I have seen so many people say that this wasn't a thing, like a good one for them, well, Blind by Worthy because of the price, no. Sample Worthy, I feel like this is one that you should, at least, if you're curious about it, Please order a sample, get your nose on it so that you can see how you feel about it. Like I said, I waited for a long time because it was sold out almost every time I look for it. But if this is one that you've been curious about because of the hype on it, I definitely think it lives up to the hype. And the fact that I did not wear this full body and it stayed on me like it did, I see why it's, I, I see why they've priced it at 300 I guess I see why they priced it at three hundred dollars. I don't feel like any kind of juice should be priced at three hundred dollars, but I guess it's, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it, right? <laughs> I love this, you guys. It is beautiful. It is definitely a. Y'all know I always say, when you look in a certain way, and you put your fragrance on, and it fits how you look, this is the one. This is her right here. Now I'm curious about Guidance 46. Oh, this is, I could see myself gifting this to like my aunts and this being their church scent because it's like good and rich and smells like they got up and just got it together and put that ish on. That's what this smells like. <laughs> Maybe I can find this on a sale somewhere. So y'all let me know when they put this on sale. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you 